What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope everybody's having a great day. Today is going to be a fun video. We're going to take the new Lowrider ST with the 117 cubic inch motor and stack it up against my mom's Stage 1 2022 Road Glide that you've seen on the channel before and also my dad's Stage 2 2020 Road Glide, the red, white, and blue bike. Uh, we're going to see how this bone stock 117 cubic inch Lowrider ST stacks up against those two bikes. I think you guys are going to be surprised on how fast this new ST is with this big motor and this small bike. So I'm stoked to get this content for you guys today. We're going to strap the GoPros on each bike and uh, get you guys some good comparison videos to see how the new Lowrider ST compares to a stage one and a stage two 114 cubic inch bagger. So you guys are not going to want to miss this one. Stay tuned. So for those of you that are just now joining the channel, if you guys haven't been in the loop, we just picked up a brand new 2022 Lowrider ST. And this bike, as it sits, is bone stock. We did a couple little cosmetic mods to it so far. We put the LED uh, turn signals in there. We put the flush mount license plate mount on there and also the LED turn signals in the rear. Uh, but that's pretty much all we've done so far to the Lowrider. We do have all the parts to make this bike a stage one. We got a pipe and a tuner and we're gonna run the same stock air cleaner uh, for stage one. We have all the parts in the garage, so stay tuned for the next couple videos. We're gonna have a lot of content coming for this new Lowrider ST. Um, but yeah, basically just giving you guys a walk around of the bike now. This is, uh, like I said, bone stock. 117 cubic inch in the new Lowrider ST. Uh, very light bike. I believe it's 200 pounds lighter than our baggers. So yeah, we're gonna see how the stock 117 in the Lowrider does against the stage one and stage two 114 cubic inch motors in the baggers. So stay tuned. All right, so here's my mom's 2022 Road Glide Special in Reef Blue and Vivid Black two-tone. Look at the paint on this bike, guys. Absolutely beautiful. Now this bike here, is a stage one. If you haven't seen it on the channel, go back to my last couple videos. We picked this bike up in March after Daytona Bike Week. And uh, basically all we've done to this bike is stage one. We put the two into one D&D billet cat exhaust on it. We put the Arlen S air cleaner on it, as you can see here. And we have it tuned with a DinoJet PowerVision tuner and a remote tune from Fuel Moto. So we don't know exactly how much horsepower this bike's making to the wheel because it has never been on a dyno. But this stage one combo we have with the D&D 2 into 1 and the air cleaner and the remote tune from Fuel Moto runs really good for just being a stage one, 114. So we're going to see how the stage one Road Glide with the 114 compares to the bone stock 117 Lowrider ST. We're going to do a couple different races today. We're gonna do like a first gear roll, second gear roll, third gear roll, and see how these two bikes stack up. What do you guys think? Comment down below, let me know your thoughts. Who is gonna win the race? The Lowrider ST or the Stage 1 Road Glide with the 114? Comment down below, let me know. Alright guys, so as you can see in the video, that Lowrider ST just walks away from the Stage 1 114 that's in my mom's 2022 Road Glide. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but yeah, 
the new Lowrider ST with the 117 definitely just walked right away from the Stage 1 Road Glide. So now we're going to see how it stacks up against my dad's Stage 2 Road Glide and go from there. If it gives my dad Stage 2 Road Glide a run for its money, maybe I'll even run it against my Stage 3 bike and see how it does. But I'm very impressed with how much power this new Lowrider ST has, guys. Like, it doesn't feel fast at all because it's so quiet. It literally sounds like a sewing machine. But I'll tell you what, that was me granny shifting it too, next to the Road Glide. Um, I'm very impressed with how fast this new bike is. And obviously it's a lot lighter than the Road Glide. So I thought that, you know, I'd walk right away from it, but not that bad. I guess we'll see how it stacks up against my dad's stage two and go from there. We got our new 2022 Lowrider ST here bone stock with the 117 cubic inch motor and we're going to race it against my dad's 2020 road glide with a stage two this bike here has a sns 475 c cam it's got a dnd two into one billet cat exhaust and it's got a screaming eagle heavy breather air cleaner and this bike is tuned by fuel moto so this bike here runs really good we don't know what it makes to the tire because we just get the tunes emailed to us from fuel moto and then flash the bike so it doesn't need to be dyno tuned so we're speculating this bike makes anywhere from 115 to 120 horsepower and anywhere from 120 to 130 foot pounds of torque and the stock lowrider st makes i believe 100 horsepower and 120 foot pounds of torque what do you guys think who's gonna win the lowrider st bone stock with the 117 or the stage two road glide with the 114 with the 475 cam what do you guys think comment down below let me know your thoughts Alright guys, well there you have it. The Road Glide obviously has a lot more torque than the ST. So as you can see in the video, it jumped out on me and I had a hard time reeling it back in. Mind you, I weigh about 40 pounds less than my dad, so power to weight definitely plays a big factor in this here. Uh, but as you can see on the second and third races, the ST pulled through with the wind and the second gear roll and the third gear roll. I'm very impressed with this new ST, guys. Once we put the tuner and the pipe on the ST, we're gonna line this up with my bike with the 128 kit and see how it does against my stage three road glide. I still think 
think I'll be able to pull through with the win with the 128. Um, but then, obviously, once we put the cam in the 117, I think it's going to be donezo for me. Um, this 117 is just a massive motor and this small light bike. And I really think that this bike with a stage two with a cam is just going to be a bad mamma jamma on the streets. Not a lot of bikes around here are going to be able to touch this bike. Uh, it's with how light it is and how much power and torque it makes. So um, I look forward to updating you guys and more videos to come. So make sure you guys stay tuned. This is going to be a full build series on this new 2022 Lowrider ST. So you're not going to want to miss it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Like I said, there's parts already on order and in the garage ready to bolt on this thing. So stay tuned for more videos to come on that. But that's going to do it for today's video. If you liked the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button. I greatly appreciate all the support on the channel. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.